Hiya, today I'm going to show you how to merge and delete customers that you no longer want or that you want to combine as one contact. So first of all, the simplest way is if you come into your customer screen, so from here, sales, click on customers, this is what I prepared earlier, you'll see I have cool cars and I have cool cars incorporated. So I want cool cars to become Cool Cars Inc. and this be one customer. So I'll click on Cool Cars here, say that with your mouth full, and click on Edit. And then if I just type and make that ink, and then ink here, like that, save it. The name is already being used. Would you like to merge the two? Yes, I would. So when I click Yes, if I come back over now, you'll see that cool cars has been deleted. Note that there is actually no such thing as deleted. QuickBooks, what it actually does is it archives the one that's not being used. So at any point in time, you can actually restore that particular customer. I'll show you how to do that. You wouldn't necessarily do it with one that you've merged. It may be for one that you've just plain and simply archived, but I'll come back to that. Also note that any transactions that were in cool cars or the customer or, or supplier that you archived or deleted or moved into the new account, any transactions that were in that old account will turn up in here. So nothing will go missing. No transactions will disappear or be deleted. So if I'm not sure there were any in here actually, but if you had any transactions that were just from Cool Cars rather than Cool Cars Incorporated, the billing details, if they were different, would remain. So you would lose nothing in terms of your history. So as you can see, it says deleted here. So if we click on the customer one, you used to be able to do, to do this in that previous screen, but they've changed it a bit. So if you have been doing that and you're now saying, where has it gone? It's all under this little wheel cog here. If you click here, it will show you include inactive. So cool cars is still there. If we untick this and then come back over, then only the active customer is showing. So as I said about actually just archiving a customer that you don't want, period, let's use David Cho. So David Cho here, all you need to do is put a tick here, come up to batch options, and it says make inactive. Are you sure you want to make him inactive? Yes, we do. And because over here we've chosen to not to include inactive, David Cho has also disappeared. The other way to make a contact inactive is literally just click on it. So if you just click on the actual customer, you just go into the edit screen where you would actually put the customer details, phone number and so on. And if you come to down to the bottom, you'll see it says make inactive and same process. You just click that. It'll ask you the same question. Do you want to make the customer or supplier inactive? And you say yes. And again, it shows deleted. And if you go back to the main screen, and what did we choose originally? Include inactive. So if we untick that, he's now gone. Okay. But what if we change our mind? A customer comes back online and we decide we actually want to use them or they actually want to use us. What we'll then do is tick include inactive, come down and you'll see David Cho has reappeared. If I get rid of that there. If we click the tick box next to him, come across here, you'll see make active, click make active, and where's he gone? Oh, there he is, and the deleted has disappeared, and you can use him as normal. Now, it goes without saying that it works in exactly the same way with suppliers. I hope that helps.